Yo, what to do everybody? I'm Jeku. Hope you're having a good day. Multiverses just released huge patch notes containing a brand new event, a new login rewards calendar, bunch of new skins and banners for the item shop, a new game mode, ranked mode, and much more. Don't worry guys, we're gonna go through and show everything in this upcoming update. So be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss anything on Multiverses. Let's get it. Valentinion is here. It will start on February 14th, which is today, and it will end on March 15th. So you have about a month to unlock all these rewards. As you can see on screen now, here are some variants and banners that are looking really nice. But don't worry, we'll take a look at each new cosmetic individually with a full picture of each skin and prices later on, so stay tuned for that. But with this event, we're also getting a Valentinion daily login rewards calendar. So you can get a bunch of Valentine's candy, which is used to buy skins and other stuff. But as for day one, you get a Valentine's candy badge. Day 12, you get a Valentine's Multiverses profile icon. Day 21, you get a brand new Dimension of Love Shaggy skin. And day 27, you get a Valentine's Toast profile icon. So log in for 30 days if you want to claim all of these rewards. Next up, let's take a look at the exclusive Valentine's event item shop. This time we got two pages of the item shop. This is the first page right here that will contain all of the Valentine skins. It looks like Wonder Woman, Velma, and Black Adam you can buy for free with the Valentine's candy and the rest will cost 800 Gleamium. And yo, I can't believe they gave Batman an all pink suit. Hey yo, multiverses, you be watching my videos? I know I said I wanted a Batman to have an all pink suit for Valentine's Day, but I was kind of joking about that. But moving on to page two of the Valentine's event shop, it's all about banners, profile icons, and event battle pass XP boost. But mainly here, the banners you have to buy with Gleamium, and the rest you can buy with Valentine's Day candy or gold coins. Again, we'll take a look at all these cosmetics and skins later in their full pictures so we can get a better look at them. But moving on to how to acquire acquire these Valentine's candy so you can buy all of these goodies in the item shop. There's multiple ways. You can win your first match of the day and you will get 100 candy from that. And also, every time you receive a toast from another player, you will get 15 additional candies. That's pretty cool. Those are two new additions they added for this event. And of course, the old ways of getting candies are still here too. If you win a match, you'll get 20 candies. But if you win a match with a Valentine skin on, you'll get double the candy, which is 40 candies. And even if you lose, you'll still get candy. You'll get 10 candy if you lose. But if you lose with a Valentine skin on, you will get 20 candy. Same goes for the 2v2 matches and Silly Q matches. Feel free to pause the video if you want to read and make sure. Moving on to the new game mode. It's called Heartbreaker Mode. Love is in the air. Heartbreaker Mode is now available in Silly Q. Heart collectibles will spawn across the battlefield, so try to gather as many as you can. When you reach max stacks, you'll be able to perform the powerful Heart Wave attack dealing damage to enemies around you. Show them the power of love. Be warned though, taking knockback from an enemy will cause you to lose a heart. Heart. So be wary of any heart stealer. Honestly, that sounds pretty fun. I can't wait to try it out. From the sounds of it, it looks like you'll get a special ultimate move if you collect a lot of hearts, which is kind of cool. But next up, ranked mode is permanently back, and they made it so teams with duplicate characters are no longer allowed in ranked 2v2 matches. So when players pick a certain character, they will now be blocked out for their teammate, and attempting to select a duplicate character will result in a prompt to pick another character, as shown on screen right now. Also, ranked mode will now draw from a limited competitive focus map pool with hazards disabled. These are the competitive focus maps that will be allowed in 2v2s and these are the competitive focus maps that will be allowed in 1v1s. Feel free to pause to read all of the competitive maps. Oh and also they made it so you earn Valentine's candy every time you progress to a new rank tier and you earn more candies the higher you go up in rank so that's pretty cool. Next up we have the multi keyboard native support on Steam. We're introducing a new version of multi keyboard support for Steam users. You can now plug up to four keyboards into your PC and the game will recognize them in local play. And to enable this native multi-keyboard support feature, just go ahead and follow these instructions on screen right now. Or feel free to take a quick screenshot of this picture right now. It's pretty cool how they added this for Steam players. Alright, time for all the new skins and cosmetics in their full blown up pictures and prices. First up, we got the new limited time banners for this Valentine's event. First one is called Love Storm, which is a rare profile banner. And you can unlock it with 700 candies in the item shop. Next, we have the Valentinion Surge, which is is a rare profile banner and you can unlock it with 1000 candies in the item shop. The third banner is the power of love which is a rare profile banner and you can unlock it with 200 gleamium in the shop. And the last banner is the cupid's volley which is a rare profile banner and you can unlock it with 350 gleamium in the shop. All pretty cool banners but now time for the new Valentinion variants. First up we got a knight to remember batman which is a rare variant and you can unlock with 800 gleamium. Like I said I'm kind of shocked they put batman in this pink suit but hey you gotta 
gotta blame me for that one. I called him out for it. Next, we got Heart of Kondok Black Adam, which is a rare variant and will cost 14,000 candies. So this one you can buy with Valentine candies. And look at Black Adam's expression. He's like, ugh, what do you got me wearing in this game, bro? But next up, we got True Kinda Love Garnet, which is a rare variant and will cost 800 Gleamium. Honestly, kind of looks like her default costume already, but I haven't really paid attention to that, so I could be wrong. Next up, we got Love Rave Harley Quinn, which is a rare variant and will cost 800 Gleamium. After that one, we got the Galactic Romance Marvin skin, which is a rare variant, and that one will also cost 800 Gleamium. Next up, we got the Love Struck Superman, rare variant, and will cost 800 Gleamium as well. I gotta say, Superman kind of looks a little bit embarrassed wearing that outfit, but hey, it is what it is. Next up, we got Dimensions of Love Shaggy, which is a rare variant, and this skin will be free through the daily login rewards calendar, so make sure you log in just in time to unlock this free skin. Next up, we got Valentinian Velma, which is a rare variant, and it will cost 800 Gleamium. And last but not least, we got the Aphrodite's Blessing Wonder Woman, which is a rare variant and will cost 14,000 heart candies. So this one is a free skin which I'm glad it is because I kind of like this one. All right, those are all the new Valentine's event skins that will also allow you for getting double candies when you play matches. But we do have more skins. We also have two new Space Jam variants from Marvin the Martian. We got Toon Squad 96 Marvin. He's a rare variant and will cost 800 Gleamium. And we also got another Marvin skin, the Toon Squad Marvin, which is a rare variant and will cost 800 Gleamium as well. So two new Marvin skins, that's pretty cool. And the next new variant we have is a PlayStation Plus exclusive skin for Rain Dog, the Ash Astro Pup Rain Dog. He's an epic variant and he's available with PlayStation Plus. I have no clue if you can get this on Xbox. Maybe later they will put Astro Pup for Xbox, but for now he's looking like a PlayStation exclusive. All right, time for some general gameplay changes. We got 2D hitboxes. A number of characters have had their hitboxes converted from 3D to 2D. Characters with 2D hitboxes enabled should see improved hitbox reliability and no whiffing on the Z axis. These characters may also have minor hitbox size adjustments that are not listed in the character patch notes. We also got changes to attack decay. Attack VFX for all moves now transition from color to gray when used in succession to aid in better indication incoming attack decay. Now some changes to dodge meter. Dodge meter for all fighters is now visible for all players in an online match. The location of the dodge meter can be adjusted in the settings menu. Changes to dodge jumps. Dodge jumping now removes any remaining dodge invulnerability when beginning the jump. This does not apply to respawn invulnerability. And the last gameplay change is invulnerability itself. Receiving invulnerability from multiple sources now properly stacks. This will most notably fix issues where Bugs Bunny could receive knockback while in his tunnel. We got a couple changes to some perks. We got aerial acrobat, additional air acceleration reduced 5% down from 10% unstacked and reduced to 10% down from 20% stacked. So it looks like Aerial Acrobat got a perk nerf. Next perk is a snowball effect. Additional damage increased to 10% up from 7% unstacked and increased to 20% up from 15% stacked. So snowball effect perk got a buff it looks like. And school me once, light projectiles will no longer proc school me once even if the light projectile deal is not back. Alright everyone that's the Valentine's event, all the new cosmetics and all the changes that are coming into tomorrow's updates now all we have left is all the buff and nerfs so yeah feel free to stick around and pause the video if you want if you want to read all of these nerfs and buffs for each of these characters but yeah this is a pretty nice huge update can't wait for it to drop today or tomorrow depending on when i upload this video and also let me know down in the comments below if you guys are excited for this update what do you guys think about it is it a good update for you or not but that's it for me thanks for watching smack that like button for more multiverse news and updates and subscribe ring the bell icon to be notified every time we upload a brand new video have a good one and i'll see you in the next one peace